Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and I wrote a program to help me kind of sort through all these pictures and stuff. As you can see I got many shots of the same kind of scene but they're minutely different so they might be blurry or otherwise out of focus or just stupid. So I want to go through these pictures faster than kind of just scrolling through them. Uh, yeah, and quickly pick out the ones that I have to edit and whatnot. So I wrote this program called Quick Image Compare, and I just run it, it gets me to pick a folder, and where did I put those pictures, over here, fix, kindling, okay, loads up, and so right away you see on the left and the right here, two images, so I can quickly kind of zoom in on the image and move the compare around. And if I click on the bottom one, so I pick a corner to click on. So for example, I'll click on this corner here, and then I'll click on the corner over here. It'll line them up so I have a side, direct side-by-side -side comparison. And that way when I move the zoom around, I can actually see which one's bigger, better. Uh, in this case, both of them suck. So I'm just going to press down on the key and that is going to change the image to a rejected state and then next I press the arrow key left or right I mean and left and that moves me to the next image and I hate both of them so I'm just going to delete that one and then I'm going to move to the next one and so now as you can see this is kind of where I built the tool to come in handy is to help me figure out uh, which image is better by comparing the way they look and uh, I noticed that the one on the right is actually better so I'm just going to reject this one here and so that's rejected and that one's kept and then I can move to the next and move to the next and as you can see this one's got motion blur so it's completely garbage delete that one next and so I got two different uh, zoom levels for this same um, scene and uh, the one on the left actually is pretty crappy it's got a bunch of motion blur and everything so uh, but what I might do is is just use it as a small a smaller image or something because it looks a bit better uh, it looks a bit better for when it's it's uh, shrunk down so I'll just press the uh, the end button to mark it for retouching which creates a plus sign up in the corner there and so the result of this is that once I go through all the images, uh, say for example I have too many images and I just kind of want to take a break and save it, so I just press the home button to save it, and that saves a file in the folder called metadata, and open it up as just XML file. It's just XML. So um, then after I've gone through and sorted through all my pictures and stuff. I press enter and the enter key will actually sort the pictures out into the various folders for keep, delete, and retouch and then I can quickly delete the folders of the pictures that I don't watch, want, uh, keep the ones that I do want and then directly go to the ones that I want to photoshop for retouching or doing other after effects. Anyway, that's my program. I wrote it. It's on GitHub and if you like it, um, like it. Okay, bye.